This is a message to Fiverr. What the heck is going on with your sudden change in rights here for people who are purchasing gigs and creative works? It says in your TOS now, apparently, that if you purchase something, it's considered a work for hire. And typically when you have a work for hire, that means that the buyer gets all of the rights within the product, which means that person who's buying has the commercial use right use rights. Then they suddenly stick in this thing where now sellers put in this commercial use license. And they try to make it sound like in their TOS that, oh, license means that all intellectual property rights of the purchase delivery are hereby assigned to you. Um, who's writing your legalese? Because I don't think they have a freaking clue the difference between transferring property rights as a whole and the term license. License means that you have a limited ability to do something while the person who owns it also has the original property rights. They're giving you a permission and it could be irrevocable. Sure, you can give an irrevocable license to do something with that, but there's a huge difference between giving somebody full ownership and property rights as far as this intellectual property rights are concerned. You know, and Don't get me started on you know the philosophical side of my personal beliefs. I'm just talking about legal language here. They're using license as if it means ownership here. So I don't know what the heck your legal team's doing, but they need to ship shape this stuff up because I had an order that was just in the works and in between my order while it's still being worked on, all of a sudden this TOS changes and all of a sudden they pop up now with this, oh, use a, com a commercial use license. So when I ordered, it was supposed to be a work for hire. And now all of a sudden, because of the language there, now it changes from a work for hire after I just paid for it. And now it's suddenly, oh, um, you know, now they still own the rights. Now you have to purchase a commercial use license and even a license on the language of itself doesn't mean full ownership. So what is it? Is it a license or is it a rights transfer? Is it, again, something that someone is bestowing on you in terms of a limited right while the owner still retains those rights? Or is it a true work for hire transfer where you're given true ownership? Because their language does not match up with their definitions as far as the language of the law is concerned. So I don't know who botched this all up, but someone needs to get in there and teach whoever is writing this the difference between license and rights transfer. Because license is a limited transfer of certain types of property rights within the bundle. If you're transferring full ownership under a work for hire, well, that means everything, including commercial rights. If you say, oh, you get a commercial use license, well, that means by its legal definition, if you look that up in like a, you know, uh, Black's Law Dictionary or something like that, um, that you're giving somebody a right to do something with it while still retaining a form of ownership. So. I don't even know what they're doing here, where they're saying all intellectual property rights of the purchase delivery are hereby assigned to you. We you know permitted commercial purposes means any business related use. I mean, again, what the heck? Purchase a commercial use license, you get a perpetual, exclusive, non transferable worldwide license to use the purchase delivery. Okay, again, a license is not ownership, it is simply a mimicking of certain rights that are still retained by the owner. So seriously, Fiverr, I don't know what y'all did, but y'all need to stop drinking or smoking, whatever it is you're doing, and understand the difference between a true property rights transfer in terms of the holistic thing and what the word license means in legal land. All right, take care.